One thing I saw you said was that the biggest sacrifice you made pursuing your dreams was friends and family that brought doubt and negative energy. Can you elaborate on that? Because I think that anybody that pursuing their dream, man, especially when it's like unorthodox, you know what I mean? Like one that's Um, like stereotypical, they experience this. I'll say this. I lost mad friends and family just in the process of waiting to get to where I am now, figuring out how to get to where I am now, because you got to go through the boy, you need a job. Boy, I ain't about to keep helping you. Boy, you're broke. Boy, you look bad. Boy, you got to hear all of that stuff constantly. Boy, you're too old to be rapping. Like I had to go through all of that. And I think not giving up made me stronger, but it kind of give you a slight resentment for the people that don't see what you see. So when it does work, you kind of get a chip on your shoulder. That's like, yeah, don't don't praise me now. I remember what you said. And I don't like to be petty like that, but it does happen. Like, I, I still do remember everybody that said, eh, you said you're 37. I would hang that up if I was you. So now when at 44 to be thriving, to be able to do exactly what I want, go where I want and to have everybody like, oh, you're doing an amazing job. I don't get caught up in that because I remember everybody saying, yeah, you too old. I don't know about that. Yeah, man. You know, it, it's I think that this is a lesson for people to to learn, especially those that have family members or, or loved ones or friends, you know what I mean, that have a, a big dream. It's hard, bro. It's really hard for somebody to be that courageous and speak out and say, this really is my dream. I know it's so big. I know it's unorthodox. I know it sounds crazy. But when you have somebody close to you support you, it's it's life changing for somebody that has a big dream, you know, because it's so it's so it's so like lonely when nobody around you is supporting you and Believe. and like a stranger is more likely to support you than somebody that knows you which is crazy right because you think it's, about it it's like wow. why you don't know j cole or you don't know this rapper why are you listening to them i done been here right. with you like right. you we grew up together right. like why can't you support me you know what i'm saying right. like and it'd be like no, that I, I it'd totally be like agree. that but you're so right because again it took pa dre to make me start rapping again it took somebody by the name of Chrissy Mack, who I didn't know, who randomly became a fan of mine online and DM me like, yo, listen, I make websites. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. No, but I make websites that you can you can um, you can monetize and you can get money. At this time, I wasn't making no money. So I'm like, whatever. I'm coming from the mixtape era, the DVD era, whatever, lady. We don't make money off this music stuff. Mixtapes are free. I ain't trying to hear that. I let the lady really tell me exactly what she do, exactly how the website work. I think I might have had set. I think the day that that I pushed the button or she pushed the button, we might have had 70 bucks between us. Everybody was broke. She just kept saying, yo, I believe in you. Let me push the button on this website. And all you got to do is post and tell your fans that your music is now for sale. Literally, I had no money. This is after leaving Alabama, leaving my, you know, leaving the comfort of being around my family. She pressed that button, put the last 70 bucks up. I posted that link. The money started coming. Mm. Now, mind you, I don't know this lady. This lady don't know me. She's just a fan. She took what she knew how she, what she knew how to do with technology, applied it to my talent. Money came in. And and it was like, I saw the, it was like, I, I just saw like, like, I can't even explain it. I, I saw a pot of gold, though. It was basically like, OK, so if they're going to pay me now for new music, I mean, I got to drop some new music every two, three weeks, every month. I need a new album. And she was even that my team was like, you can't put out no music that fast. I'm like, shit, if I can't, you said they're going to buy it every time I put it out. Yeah, I'm going to drop. And what I started doing, I started dropping project after project to a point. I think I put out six or seven projects in one year. And like you said, it took for somebody that I don't know to believe in me, to make me able to profit off of the music. And sure enough, that's how we're here today, because of a stranger. And I know what you're saying, too, because it's hard not to have that resentment sometimes when it's like you wasn't there supporting when I was fucked up. But now that, you know, I'm popping people, you know, people saying my name or like sometimes it takes like somebody 
like your loved one's friend to tell them like, yo, you don't, you don't know pain is really on it. Like, and then they hear it from, from someone else and they're right. like, oh, right. uh, I find, I finally see it now. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's why, that's, I, you know, that's, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's how crazy. my family seen it. I remember, I remember seeing my family not believe until they seen the people that they look up to going crazy over me. I remember right. literally watching my family decide and they face like, oh shit, that's, 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 I'll be sure. That's LL Pouget. For my brother? All right, I'm in. I'm in now. I see it. Yeah, man. It, it, it's kind of hard sometimes not to feel some type of way about that, you know, but I, I think that. I saw, I think it was Kevin Gates that said it. He said it in an interview, it's like, n- not everybody's going to treat your dream like you are because you're the one that sees it and really believes in it. And like, yeah. no one, yeah. not everyone ha- deserves access to it, you know, because your dream is fragile, yeah. right? You got to handle right. it it's with yours, care. It's your vision for a reason, right? They didn't give it to everybody else to see. Yeah, man, it's tough though. But shout out to everybody that's chasing their dream, man, because it, it, it's really hard. Big facts, man. 